And we are back. Well, now let's go talk to the Emperor, I guess. I don't remember now. Black suits the gentleman. Does the outfit satisfy the gentleman? A studded doublet and a sword on my back, that's what would satisfy me. But tough, when in Nilfgaard. Yes. It's a saying. So what now? Powder my nose? No need. The gentleman's <laughs> complexion is light enough. Oh. The gentleman is to stand before the ruler of the north and south. I must confirm that he knows how to bow. Confirm away. Please watch. Leg extended. Hand flat, head down, chin to chest. The gentleman will rehearse. Hmm, lacking fluidity and grace. But we've learned to expect less of Nordlings. Come with me. These guys are assholes. <laughs> the gentleman will address the emperor only when asked to, and using the appropriate title. Your arch magnificency. <laughs> I see the gentleman is in the mood for jests. I fear the emperor might not share his disposition. Your majesty will suffice. Spoken loudly, clearly, and with respect. Just out here, can I go down here? Grimmy at art cats. Dyfen Aden in Karn eb Marvut. Emir var emres. Bow. Your Imperial Majesty. Arer ep do orde. Avelian Namin, what can favort? I thought you bowed before no man. Didn't want to disappoint the Chamberlain. We're friends. Take it you didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days, so... Silence. My daughter, Cyrilla. She's returned. And she's in danger. The wild hunt pursues her. You will find her and bring her to me. How many men in your army? Twenty thousand? Thirty? So why me? You know why. Because she trusts you. She trusts me, yes. So tell me why you're looking for her. Doubt it's about making up for all those lost years. For reasons of state, as always. Enough of this banter. You will agree regardless. If for no other reason than because I shall pay you. More than you customarily receive for a contract. Considerably more. Save your generosity for those whose homes your armies have raised. I'll do it for Siri, not for your gold. Your motives do not interest me, only results. Yennefer will tell you the rest. This audience is finished. Meririd! Take him to the sorceress. Follow me, if the gentleman pleases. Please keep close. There are many yeah. honorable mm. guests in the palace. The gentleman will have time for us. <laughs> God, 
Brian Vatgan, Vatgalm. Can I go downstairs? Yes, and as Should have read that book when I had the chance. You can say inventory now. Dang it. <laughs> and it's past noon. Calm yourself. This is in Vatgenshalt. Do you know who you're talking to, soldier? I'm Herevard the second, Prince of Elanda. Not only am I made to wait here like some name. supplicant, the this general has been a strong mate. The Emperor shall guide us. Evain Kersher is Dyswin and Tarn at Morvold. I demand Vavork! Till show a way. The gentleman will have time for a stroll later. Please stay with me. Yes, Hen as good. The gentleman will have time for a stroll later. Please stay with me. You're not fun. Is it like in bed, rain at that and self The gentleman will have time for a stroll later. I say plenty of not much. And self it then sick yet have it. Casper can go belly there. To me, the gentleman will have time for a stroll later. Please stay with me. Carten, Duke, Spicobaro, Glen, S. Blasser. The gentleman will have time for a stroll later. Once the gentleman is done, he should see me to retrieve his possessions. Well sharpened yet. Yes? Then transcribe. The true authority in Novigrad is not the city council or the merchant's guild, but the church of the eternal fire and the criminal underworld. At times it is difficult to tell the one from the other. They both display a similar ruthlessness and cynicism that... Please wait, Your Excellency. I'm falling behind. I'm just picking these up and glancing you know at just I'll to see if it gives me you need any bonuses or upgrades or... In triplicate. Crafting. Go back and reread them. Read through them later. I really wanted to. A shame I have no time. Vedimi. Geralt, that tunic, you look positively smashing. Ugh, dying to take it off. I'd consider that a proposition under different circumstances. One I might even take you up on. But we've matters to attend to. 
Now do you understand why I'm at Amir's court? Mm-hmm. And seems we're in the same boat now. Siri, she's really back? No chance he's mistaken? Look, that's more or less what she looks like now. Or so our agents claim. Our little witch has grown into a young lady. How about that? She's grown up. It's been years since you trained together at Kaer Morn. A great deal has changed. You haven't? Not a bit? <laughs> I missed those awkward compliments of yours. But let's focus on Ciri, all right? Right. Amir said the wild hunts after her. I'd find that hard to believe before what happened yesterday. How did they track us down? Because of me. You see, I've spent months searching for Siri, using locating spells, haruspicy, geomancy, anything, really. I knew the Wild Hunt might sense it, perhaps even find me, but I thought I'd trick them. Well, guess you were wrong. Hmm. I've sensed them on my trail, hunting me, for some time. If not for you and Amir's soldiers, they'd have gotten what they were after. I can't risk another encounter like that. It's time to put away the magic, turn to more traditional methods. To the best tracker I know. You must find her, Geralt, before the Wild Hunt does. So where's Ciri been seen, exactly? In two places, Velen and Novigrad. The trail in Velen is most promising. You should make that your first stop. Ask for a merchant named Hendrik at the inn at the crossroads. One of the Emperor's agents. He should get in touch with you. That's it? No passwords? Secret handshakes? None. Sorry to spoil your fun. Your boyhood fantasies about the crafts of the trade. All we have in Novigrad are unconformed reports, rumors. But there you will have the help of our mutual acquaintance. Triss Merigold. Apparently she's got a cozy flat on the main square. Sure she'll be delighted to see me. What about you? What will you do? I shall sail for Skellige. There was a magic explosion there recently, blew half a forest down. I believe this had something to do with Ciri. I'll be in care trolled. Join me there once you've learned something. Guess this means we need to split up again. Not my preference, but I understand. Clock's ticking. It is indeed. So why don't I teleport you to Vel and get you there at once? Not gonna happen. I'll go on horseback, as soon as I can get changed. Have it your way? Oh, and... You really look quite dashing in black velvet. Think so? Maybe I can have some of my armor lined with it. <laughs> Good luck, Yen. Same to you. And if you wish to learn what's happened in the world while you and Vesemir roamed the wilderness, talk to Ambassador Vaatra. That's him over there. And Geralt, I know it's wartime, but try not to be a hero, all right? Just check those leads and come back to me, in one piece. I shall be waiting. A shame, I Ambassador have Ambassador Varatra. Yennefer suggested I ask you about current events, the war and so on. Of course. The Emperor's servants should keep no secrets from each other. If you will, let us approach the map. How 
of things look in Velen. As bad as ever, perhaps worse. This land never flowed with milk and honey, and now it flows with blood. Armies have swept through it several times, trampling fields, looting granaries, burning villages. Famine grips the populace. Mm hmm So how's ruling that earth? Not well, to be honest. Our forces are spread, thus, we've temporarily delegated authority in this region to a certain... I advise you well. I don't want to go through all Thanks those. for your help. Think nothing of it. Okay. Oh! How might I serve the gentleman? By returning my things. Citrus and cloves. The fragrance will keep the gentleman's robes fresh somewhat longer. Mm. Thanks, Bunches. The Emperor is not known for his patience. He wants his daughter back safe and sound, as soon as possible. Yeah, mention something of the sort. So long. Avelian Dokas and Kets. See you. Till shore if I Geralt and Yennefer were reunited, but something even more important happened in Vizima. Geralt learned that Cirilla, his one-time ward, had returned from afar, and she was in danger. He was to find her at the Emperor's command and Yennefer's behest.
Both forces attacked. Yes, One from either side. Yes, Come on. Step away. Chaplin's praying. Can't you see? Do not cast him out. What do you want? Rejoice, for even a creature as depraved and base in nature as you can serve. Someone must see to the corpses on the battlefield. Necro. That's to be my good deed. A handsomely profitable one, I might add. All right, I'll t This will count amongst your merits. The more good one work. Dash generously and set alight, understood? I wish it to flare up to the sky. Once I've incinerated... I shall be near the bridge to Novigrad. Run, Roach. Find me for the next ones. When they come, I'll tend to them. Meanwhile, John Verdon, sir. Long way from your army. The army don't exist no more. Black ones smashed it to join a group of refugees. Fucking bursting with patriotism they were. Soon as they learned I'd abandoned Tamaria in her hour of. Ne Fine, I'll. Oh, thanks. For a minute there, it was almost... 
I'd like to thank you somehow. But Tough. Thanks, Witcher. Mate. Strangers coming! Slow Run for your lives! I'll not give her up, not on me life! When you hear her squealing, she'll kill us and take her all the same! So I'll slaughter her myself, hide her corpse beneath the floorboards! Those bastards won't have her! Looking for a man. Goes by Hendrik. What do you want with him? Want to talk to him. What about? Give me a bottle of something strong. You gotta go. I'll open the back way for you. Got company. Who is it? In Cape, Vorka. Who's this? Un? Brave warrior, looks like. Got two swords, see? Oi, great boy. What's the point of having two swords? Wonder if he keeps an extra prick in his trousers, too. You fucking deaf. Gonna say who you are? Or do I need to loosen your tongue with me knife? I'm a witcher. Heard you wondering about my swords. Well, one's for monsters. The other, for humans. Only got one prick, though, in case you're wondering about that, too. Don't touch him. Don't even look at him. Worse than lepers, that lot. Saw one in action once. Killed a half dozen. Blood everywhere. Freak didn't even show a drop of sweat. Got the stench of corpses on him. If you want to rest, come with me. On the bench you can use. I step in the hut, and there's the bumpkin with what looks like his son. That's on the pretty side, I think to myself. I think he even disguised his daughter. <laughs> Horsons always manage to hide their lasses. Don't need out smart. Thanks for not starting a row with those swine. <laughs> I don't generally poke my nose in other people's business. Looking to stay the night? No. Huh. I'm looking for Hendrik. Man lives in Heatherton. Don't know where that is. Other side of the hill. Looked that away this morning and saw a strange glow. Imperials on the raid, perhaps. But who knows? Anything else you can tell me about Hendrik? Odd fellow. Arrived from who knows where and for no apparent reason. Shacked up with a widow whose husband was stabbed for a scrap of bread. Baron's men don't like strangers. Aye, and he stays out of their way. Always seems to know when they're coming. Always manages to disappear. Thanks, Inkeep. Okay. 
Okay, let's go find Hendrick. That's it, Roach. Search where you're going. One of these guys. That all you. Do, 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 do. about them sick being sent to me. Move it! Hey, Roach, you got stuck on a rock. Air is strange. Like dropping into a deep cellar on a hot day. And the mist. Be whoever you is. Get away. Calm down. It's over. Aye, it's over. All's past, never to be restored. I'll not forget that ever. Looking for a man named Hendrik, supposed to live in this village. Aye, he did. No longer. They nabbed him in that hut. If you'd have heard the cries, sir. If you'd have heard how a man can scream. How he can suffer. Tell me what happened here, step by step. They took him. Took him all. The sun was waning, see, and the dusk went crimson like blood. Thought to myself, strange, the toads, I cannot hear them. Terror through and through. Hendrick screamed. Then he begged. By the end, he could do naught but moan. here long, the terrors. Yet the village froze like in the heart of winter. You in that hut when they rode off? No. 
and I'll not set foot there. Never. Farewell, and peace of mind to you. <laughs> Tortured him. Maybe they missed something. Need to check his pockets. Trousers are stiff, as if hung out to dry midwinter. Maybe hid something in his jerkin. Damn, he's cold as ice. Nothing here. Should check his boots. Blood, congealed. Key hidden in his boot. Gotta fit a keyhole. Somewhere nearby, hopefully. There's a draft. Gotta be a space under this rubble. Guess I should do some cleaning. Interesting. A ledger. Payment for a sack of grain. Amount due for a charcoal shipment. Hendrick was masquerading as a merchant. What's this? Notes among the ledger entries. Clever. Interesting headings. Missing and wanted. Subject appeared in Skellige. Also sighted in Novigrad. Appearance unchanged. Ashen hair. Scar on her face. Avoids contact with others. Drunken swine. So-called Baron hosted subject at his castle, or should I say, illegally appropriated fort. Reason unknown. Talked to Baron at Crow's Perch. Clashed with a witch. Subject landed in swamp, encountered a witch. Conflict ensued. Cause unknown. Find the witch. Talk to the peasantry. Village of Midcops. Caution advised. I'm being observed. Don't know by whom or why. Unsettling signs. Dog ran off. Water in bucket froze solid. Strange glow observed in the sky. Ill omen, peasants say. Somehow they learned Hendrik was looking for Ciri. Thus the torture. I'm too late. My only leads, the Baron and some witch. Damn. Come on. Slow now. Whoa. Get up.
Move it. Take it easy. Okay. We will stop here for today and we'll see you all next time.